While still a young industry at, as compared to other parts of the world, South Africa's animation sector has been growing steadily and is receiving increased international recognition. Well, this Women's Month, we celebrate women-owned businesses operating in the industry and their accomplishments as seen in Sola. It's a, an action adventure, fantasy and coming-of-age series about the adventures of a girl named Sola who experiences her magical awakening in a world where magic is both dangerous and deadly. The film is the first woman-led Afro-anime series, a short film created by Tandiwe Mlaoli. She joins us this morning to chat further about this. Tandiwe, a very good morning to you. A pleasure to have you with us. Hi, hi. Thank you so much for having me. Well, tell us a bit about your journey and why animation? Well, <clears throat> I um, went to Los Angeles to study um, and I studied producing, but I've always um, had a passion for animation. And once I graduated, it was something that I really decided to pursue with like everything in me. And luckily enough, there were so many opportunities that like opened up in terms of like one that stands out was this uh, workshop that we had in 2018 called Black Women Animates. And it was just a workshop that really empowered women in this animation space. And so it, as soon as I chose to do animation, the world opened up to me as well. Well, that's so beautiful. Uh, and speak to us about the current landscape of animation, right? Would you say that what we're seeing now is a true reflection of the people who enjoy animation in the country? Absolutely not. Like, not even a little bit. <laughs> I, I think um, black and brown people here in South Africa and on the continent love animation. They love, and yet we're constantly erased in these narratives. I'm not entirely sure why that is, but writers tend to write us out. And for us at Studio Yezi, we're just like, okay, we can't take this anymore. If they're not going to allow us in, we, we need to create our own spaces and we need to like break our own ground and nurture our own soil because at the end of the day, black people are going to be in the future. And so we need to make sure that our art represents that too. And how difficult a task is that? Are you finding that you have to, you know, consistently prove yourself, cons consistently prove that you can do this? Um, it is tough. It is tough. However, what's really interesting is that we live in an unprecedented time. And my, in, in traveling overseas and, and going to these workshops, I realized that there's actually a large network of black and brown people on the continent and all over the world who are passionate about the same thing. So while, yes, we have to prove ourselves and we have to show ourselves, we're also very talented. And it's just a matter of us doing what we have to do. And now that we have this opportunity, we're like linking with everybody all over the world here in South Africa in the diaspora on the continent. Like we're, we're like, we're passionate. We're pumped up. Like we don't care if people want us to prove ourselves or not. We're talented, we're disciplined, and we're going to show the world that, you know, as you're speaking, I see the passion in, you know, how you speak about this industry uh, <laughs> and all the work you're doing. Uh, speak to us about Studio Yezi. I mean, what sort of contribution are you expecting it to make in the industry and, and what is it all about? For sure, for sure. So Studio Yezi, basically Yezi is short for Inkanyezi, which means star in Isuzulu. And for us, we intend to be a symbol of hope with our storytelling, a symbol of light with our storytelling. We have a very heart-centered business model. We're approaching entertainment and art in a different, in a completely different way. We're not using the regular models from Hollywood or the mainstream uh, entertainment industry. We're, we're, we're leading with love, with kindness, with talent and discipline. Like we're nurturing our talent. We're nurturing the people who collaborate with us because just the same passion that you feel in me, I want them to feel it too. So that when you guys watch Sola, you feel it in them as well. So we, we're, we're taking a completely different approach. We're, we're spirit first, energy first, people first. And we're, we're trusting that the art will reflect that. Sure. Well, quickly tell us about Sola. I mean, I spoke about it in my intro. It's a short film, and I understand that it's actually crowdfunded as well. Speak to us about the, that okay. decision. Okay, so Sola, like you mentioned earlier, that it's a story about a young magician who awakens to her magic in a world where magic is deadly and dangerous. And so for us, the core theme of Sola is the, the idea that as black people, we need to embrace our magic. But when we're afraid of it, when we deny it, we leave ourselves more vulnerable. We need to own the, the gifts that we have. We need to own the love that we have. We need to share it, you know. Um, but we chose crowdfunding because we really wanted 
something for the people. We wanted the people to feel inspired. We wanted them to also feel like they were a part of making history and a part of just this new movement that we wanted to, to, to create. And so, yeah, crowdfunding was that option for us because we just didn't want to go the corporate route early because oftentimes when we do that, we end up um, losing out. We end up having to give up our rights to produce. We end up not leading those um, show running rooms. Like the pe other people think they can tell our stories better. So for us, if it, if, if it means staying independent longer, that's what we're willing to do. If we have to work harder, that's what we're willing to do. We're not afraid of hard work now. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I think we'll leave it there. And uh, all the best with uh, Sola and all the best with your company. I hope it flourishes. And happy Women's Day mm -hmm. for tomorrow. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's Tanduem Laoli. She's the founder and CEO of South Africa's first animation studio, independently owned by a black woman. That's Studio Yezi.